Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! What an incredibly spectacular battle with neither side willing to back down to the other throughout all of the chaos, but I must say that even with Goku and Vegeta's teamwork and experience in battle now beginning to get the better of Cooler and Frieza, I'm afraid that this battle is far from over, especially since all four of them are starting to go all out against one another too. Everything is riding on Goku and Vegeta's ability to take care of business, because if they don't, and they somehow manage to fall short of hitting their mark, then it could ultimately backfire on both of them and be the end of everything as they know it. As our story immediately now continues, following the initial battle involving Vegeta, Goku, Cooler, and Frieza, with Primal Ultra Instant Goku now shown having to make his way towards battling Cooler, to which as Goku is now shown doing so, it was from out of nowhere just before having to make contact where Cooler had now gone as far as to throw a bunch of trees towards Goku's direction by then responding, the universe has always been ruled by the strong while the weak fell into knowing their place, Saiyan. I've observed your battles, learned from your techniques, and adapted them to my advantage. Manage. Cooler then went on to continue, so I don't need to stoop down to my brother's level in order to defeat you. My raw power will be more than enough to snuff the light out of your life, monkey. To which Goku then went on to respond, listening to you ramble on about how badly you wish to destroy me and Vegeta only goes to show how deeply Frieza had corrupted your mind, Cooler, and you are making a grave mistake by taking part in this. And if you continue to allow for your brother's legacy to dictate your actions, then you will never find your own true purpose in life but only live in your brother's shadow. You are letting it all go to a waste, especially since you and your brother know that you can't beat us. So why continue, Goku then questions. But you won't change. Guys like you and your brother are too prideful to ever admit when they're wrong. And so, because you have no desire to change, I am going to make sure to continue to stand in the way of your plans until you are no longer willing and able to carry any of them out at our expense, Goku then went on to shout, because you're not just fighting me here, Cooler. You're fighting the spirit of every warrior whose techniques you've stolen to help benefit you in battle. To which, upon the moment of contact, as Goku is now shown smashing directly into Cooler, was when the Grand Priest went on to then chime in. In a battle such as the one that Goku now finds himself being a part of, his empathetic nature towards those who he is fighting against is both a strength and a weakness, the Grand Priest says. To believe in the inherent good of everyone is a very noble trait to have, but it also demands incredibly sharp wisdom to see when it's being exploited by his enemies. And that's exactly what Goku is displaying here against Cooler, as he is trying to find the good in this creature, but I do hope that for his sake, he doesn't ultimately lose himself in the process of trying, to which upon Goku now being shown having to attack Cooler, it had only now become fairly evident that Cooler was not going to stand any sort of chance in beating Goku, as Yoshido then went on to chime in, but who cares, right? 
states, what kind of benefit does the mortal intend on getting by trying to look for the good in those who stand against him? In a battle where it comes down to choosing between life or death, there should be no room for anything of the sorts to be a factor, with Budo then chiming in, that's because he's a foolish and very impressionable creature which ends up causing more harm than good, with Whis responding, well this has always been who Goku truly is at his very core. Goku believes in redemption and change, but he also must prepare for those who will see his empathy as a weakness, because we've seen this very concept backfire on Goku before. And I find it very interesting how a warrior like Goku can be so fierce in battle, yet so very compassionate and understanding even against the most dangerous of enemies, Whis continues. And I'm sure that Goku is well aware of Cooler's true intentions, which is why he must not hesitate when the time calls for him to do what is needed if they hope to win. But that's impossible, Cooler then went on to say to himself after taking one of Goku's uppercuts. How is this monkey able to continue to adapt like this? Frieza warned me of Goku's resilience, but this is just insane and I've had enough of this. I must dig deeper and reach into the darkest corners of my power and hit this monkey with everything that I have so that way he stays down for good this time. Oh, I have to try. To which seconds later within that very moment as Platinum Cooler was now shown having to blow Goku away by powering up is when Platinum Cooler then went on to shout, I am not your entertainment, son Goku! And I am tired of watching you worms continue to try and fight back and I will no longer stand to have either of you ruin my plans any longer! You may have battled my brother, Saiyan, but you have never contended with a force like me and you never will! And now you will see exactly what I mean when I show you! And I will show you by putting an end to your miserable existence by using one of Broly's attacks to do it! An eye for an eye, monkey! Understand that you were never meant to make it this far in your life, and so this is where the story of your people are laid to rest! Now die, Saiyan! Which, shockingly enough, the very second cooler was from that point shown having to use one of Broly's signature moves was when Beerus went on to chime in. Wait, what is that idiot Goku doing? What is he thinking? Why is he just standing there and letting this monster attack him by using one of Broly's own moves against him? Is he crazy or does it look like he has a plan, Whis? With Whis then responding, Actually, I think that Goku has finally realized on just how sinister Frieza's brother there truly is at his core. And if I had to take a guess and say, then I believe Goku is now just about ready to make his move and put an end to this fight once and for all, to which as Goku is now shown preparing, it was only just before Cooler's initial attack had made contact where Goku then went on to respond, it's honestly a shame that it had to come down to this, but at least I tried to look past your bias, only to find nothing but darkness on the other side. And I made a vow a long time ago to protect those who are helpless to protect themselves from monsters like you and your brother, Goku continues, and if this leaves me with no other option left but to take you down by doing what I need to do permanently to stop you, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. To which upon Cooler's attack now shown having to make contact was when Akuma went on to chime in. And look, the mortal's life energy has once again completely changed as well. Which could only mean that the Saiyan was able to draw forward and bring about that angel form of his once again just like he was shown doing before. But how was he able to pull it off with Takira responding by finding the right moment to quickly balance himself out while also exiting out of this cooldown period one last time for one last battle. And as powerful as this cooler may seem, his desperation will be what destroys him in the end, with the Grand Priest responding, and this is where I think Cooler has reached the end of the line. Now that Goku is fully aware after searching Cooler's feelings to find the truth behind his intentions, the Saiyan has finally made the choice in going through with this by using everything he has in order to prove that very same point that he He's been shown making prior, and that's Cooler simply cannot destroy what Goku is now, the Grand Priest continues. But there's a price that comes with every power, especially with the one that he is using now, and unless he plans to push his willpower to the point of death, then I think this might be the last time that we see Goku wield this transformation within their battle, to which upon Platinum Cooler now being shown waiting, it was only just as Cooler was beginning to question on whether or not Goku was destroyed was when Cooler then went on to respond, that's all to do it. And I didn't see him try and move away from my attack either, so he must be gone. Broly's attack should have reduced that 
monkey to space dust. Wait, what's that glow behind the smoke cooler questions? No, no, but that just can't be. He, he's still alive? But why? Why isn't that serum working against him when it should? What are you? No matter how many shortcuts that you try and take by stealing and altering your body to destroy us, Angel Goku then went on to respond, you will never be able to truly grasp the essence of the power that you seek because you are just as sick and twisted as your brother is. And the only other way that monsters like you will ever learn is for you to be put in your place. And I've seen what Frieza's influence does to people and it's a shame that you've allowed for him to twist your mind into thinking that you'd have it all, Goku continues. You came here with the sole purpose of wiping us all out but failed to realize that me and Vegeta would rather die first before we would ever allow for any of that to happen to our friends and family. And you can rest assured, Cooler, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But not without first teaching you a lesson or two before sending you straight to King Yemma in the afterlife. You and your brother have caused too much pain and it's time that I return the favor by bringing the pain right back to you. With Cooler responding, You destroy me? I'd love to see you actually try, Goku. You are too weak to ever carry out such things and that is why I have no fear. And that is why you will lose because you don't have the strength to go through with doing it. But I do and so remember Remember my words, Saiyan. I am going to drive you into a corner with nowhere left for you to go, and once I do, and once this power of yours disappears, then that's when you will die. And if I have to use the Earth to do it, then I will gladly weaponize this entire planet that you call home if it means ending your miserable life, Saiyan. In which once again from out of nowhere, the moment cooler was from there shown having to mimic yet another one of Moro's techniques techniques in using the planet's energy against Goku was when Yoshida went on to chime in. Well, this is new, but is that creature really using the magma from the planet's core as a weapon to try and fry the Saiyan? That's quite the maneuver in choosing for this to be what destroys Goku, but I don't see it working. Do any of you? Because let's just say that if it does, then can any one of us tag on in down there and fight or what? Anyone? There isn't going to be a need for any of the five of us to be a part of a battle that doesn't involve us because Cooler's tactic will fail to stop the Saiyan, Akuma responds. And unless the mortal spares Cooler's life, then he will not win the day against Son Goku, especially now, with Beerus responding, Hold on, where have we seen this before, Whis? That's one of Moro's techniques, isn't it? Why, yes, it actually is, Whis responds, but I do agree with Akuma because with Goku now wielding a power that is far beyond Cooler's ability to reach, there will be no saving him once Goku starts to explode with Yoshido responding, Hey, and look over there on the other side of the battlefield. That purple-haired mortal and that black lizard are really hammering away at one another too, huh? To which back on over on the other side of the battlefield with Vegeta being shown having to avoid one of the energy blasts from the ground was when Vegeta went on to chime in. Oh, just what the hell is going on over there? For all damn you, Kakarot! What the hell are you waiting for? Hurry and put an end to that bastard brother of his now before he tries to rip our planet planets apart. Oh, and to think that he would go and use another one of Moro's moves on us again. But I can't have this throw me off now, so where did that coward Frieza just go? Here I am, you monkey! Mark my words, Vegeta! For once my goals become a reality with I as the multiverse's new Omni-King, I will ensure that there is not a trace of Saiyan blood that remains in any corner of the cosmos by the time I'm done. That's an old Damn, that Frieza Beerus went on to then respond. He's using the planet's magma as a way to hide himself from you, Vegeta. Do not let his tactic of using the planet's energy as a shield to blindside you, especially not now. And so punish him, Vegeta. But even then, Black Frieza was not having it because upon Black Frieza now being shown smashing his way into Vegeta was when Black Frieza then went on to respond. You may have held the advantage over me and my brother before, but now that you are exhausted, you are nothing more than a sitting duck for the two of us to take advantage of now, God Monkey. And I don't buy into your ever-expanding destroyer power, and I'm about to expose you for what you've always been. Whee!
week with Vegeta responding, Urals, what's this worm doing? Wait, he's going to try and push me into the planet's energy and hoping that he could burn me alive. Well, not if I have anything to say about that, he won't. Big mistake, Frieza. You think I don't know what you're trying to do here, Frieza? Not a chance, you coward. In which the moment Vegeta was shown having to turn Frieza around and using him as a meat shield and going right through the planet's energy was when Yoshida went on to chime in. Now that's just brutal, you know? I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm actually kind of glad that we came onto this planet because you won't be able to find entertainment like this anywhere else. Well, speak for yourself, Yosh, Budo went on to then quickly respond. Or did you already forget about what took place in the No Realm before we came here? We still have a score to settle with one of them, so don't let any of this distract you from what we owe that Saiyan mortal Goku. In which back down below, as soon as we then see how Vegeta and Frieza were now beginning to brawl with Vegeta getting the better of Frieza was when Vegeta then went on to respond, What's wrong, Frieza? I thought you said you had me all figured out here. Go on, fight back. Show me if you're worthy of me taking serious. Fight back, Frieza. And fight back, Frieza did, because the moment Frieza was from there shown having to flip Vegeta over and now beginning to attack him was when Frieza went on to respond, Enough, you monkey! And I will not have all of my efforts of doing what I did to reach this point be invalidated by the likes of you. And especially now, every time that I've allowed myself to let one of you Saiyans live, I find myself ultimately regretting it later and that burden ends today. And I don't care how much longer I'd have to keep this going for, I won't stop until there is nothing left of you that remains, monkey. And do you think that any of this is supposed to stop me? This is exactly what I wanted from you, Frieza. So go on, continue to try and hurt me for as much as you'd like, because none of it will matter when this is all over. You still don't seem to get it, do you, Frieza? You are only helping me grow stronger the more you damage me. None of your attacks can hurt me, and so let me prove it to you once again. To which that was exactly what Vegeta had done, because with Vegeta now being shown having to flip Frieza on his back and now beginning to attack him was when Vegeta went on to then continue. So look at that, do you see? Look how easy you are for me to overtake, especially after having to listen to you brag about how great this power of yours is, Frieza. Well, tell me then, is your power still greater than mine now? Are you still confident in your ability to try and end my life now? No, I didn't think so. And you have no idea on how long I've waited to do this. And you have no idea on how long I've waited to do this. I am going to take my sweet time with you, and who knows? Maybe you're right, Frieza. Maybe I will be the first one between us who runs out of gas and dies first. But isn't that the thrill of why we fight? To see which one of us is truly the superior warrior compared to the other? You have a lot to learn, Frieza. And I will gladly take this small moment to educate you first before you are destroyed. With Beerus then responding, that scumbag Frieza is getting exactly what he always had coming to him for a very long time now, and especially in recent years with how large his ego has gotten, Beerus went on to then respond. But my Vegeta is not the same warrior that Frieza may remember from his past, but instead, this is a more brutal Vegeta, a more violent Vegeta, a more powerful and much much more ruthless Vegeta, the likes of which Frieza has never seen before. Yes, and without that brother of his to help him, it'll only be a matter of time before he crumbles beneath the weight of Vegeta's vengeance, and I cannot wait to see it. To which all the while, in the meantime, back on the other side, as soon as Angel Goku was now shown slowly having to step forward in approaching Cooler was when Goku then went on to respond, You just don't get it, do you, Cooler? You think that by using the Earth's energy as a weapon against me that it will somehow weaken my spirit? No, you're wrong because all you'll be doing is motivating me to fight even harder than how I was before this. You will never break my will to fight by targeting my home, Goku continues, so just know that you have already sealed your own fate through your cowardly actions, with Cooler then responding, but, but, how is he walking out of the fire without taking any sort of damage onto his body like that. How? It's that form he's wielding. It just has 
has to be that halo around his neck and that heat. So I must find a way to. But then it was only just before Cooler could even go as far as to finish his sentence where Goku had immediately gone in attacking Cooler by then responding, you and your brother are two sides of the same rotten coin, Cooler. You are never willing to accept your mistakes and the error of your ways. So what do you try and do instead? You want to try and take everything down with you as a way of hurting me and Vegeta. You want to try and destroy everyone and anyone as a way to mask your flaws, but I see right through you. You were given several chances, including right after you and your brother defused to see that he was lying to you, and what did you decide to do instead? You kept on insisting to want to try and destroy us all anyways, with Cooler then responding, What do you know about my destiny, Saiyan? Who are you to try and decide my fate along with what I should be? With Goku then responding, I know enough to say that you don't have much time left, and deep down, you know this to be the truth too, Cooler. And since I know that you won't change and that you'd rather die than admit your flaws, whatever comes next from our fight will be our very last engagement, Cooler, with Beerus then asking, Say, is it me, Whis, or does Goku appear to be a bit more carefree when using this angel form of his? With Whis responding, Actually, Goku's entire fighting style appears to be much different, so yes. While wielding this angelic form of his, he appears to come off more logical and serious with his encounters than he would have been shown before. Interesting, Beerus then responds, and what about that serum that Cooler and his brother have taken? They did mention that they were able to use attacks from several warriors that they sampled, so what about that? What do you think, Grand Minister? With the Grand Priest responding, well, it's likely that there is still much more to this serum that they've taken that we have yet to see, but the serum they've injected themselves with is a volatile compound that may have unknown consequences onto their mind and body that even they themselves may not be fully aware of. Even the most potent of serums have their limitations, the Grand Priest continues. Cooler and Frieza have tampered with the natural order of the universe by using such tactics to try and achieve their goals, and that always comes with a very high price to pay. By trying to gain unnatural strength, they may have exposed themselves to unforeseen vulnerabilities that the Saiyans are starting to exploit. However, with as many times as we've seen Goku jump back into using this angel form of his, and if he isn't careful and continues to push himself into using this, then it could cost him, with Cooler then getting up by responding, I, I don't care what you are saying. One way or another, for as long as I'm still standing, I will find a way to end your life if it's the last possible thing that I do. There's no way that you can continue to keep pushing yourself like this against me, and you know it, Goku. And so let's find out on just which one of us will be the last one standing, Cooler continues. And so enough is enough, Saiyan! Whether everything in this universe is destroyed in the process of our battle or not, I am going to use everything, everything that's coursing through my body to make sure that you die here and now. The games between us will end here and now. Do you hear me, Goku? Everything. And if that is what it will take, then that is exactly what I will use if it means finally getting rid of you and Vegeta for good. So our next engagement will be your last, monkey. Mark my words, Saiyan, with Angel Goku then responding. Then if that's going to be how you want to end this, then you better draw forth and use every ounce of your power that you can possibly scrape together, Cooler. Because I'm going to do the same, and trust me when I say, you're going to need it. And if you honestly think that you've seen my full power, then you're wrong. Because in case you haven't noticed, I've been holding back against you while wielding this form, Goku continues, but not anymore. So let's settle this and be done with this once and for all. To which it was only right then and there now, during that moment, where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the top 5 strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 65 special then comes to a close. Now this is it with only two more manga chapters remaining with that being the semi-finale and the final chapter of the story of the top 5 strongest warriors in the multiverse now on the horizon. Everything has now come down to a battle of life or death in seeing if our heroes could actually go as far as to survive or if somehow maybe Cooler and Frieza could find a way in having to overtake both Goku and Vegeta in battle and getting their way by the end in which the semi-finale manga chapter to this story will be made available right now on my Patreon for those of you out there who are members to see. So if you would not only want to support the fan manga content that you see on this channel, but also gain exclusive
exclusive access to my soundtracks, art, PNGs, additional content, and so much more, then I do encourage for you guys to become a member of my Patreon today, patreon.com slash Gaming, in which I will go on ahead and leave those links located down in the description box below and pinned comment section below as well, because even despite the fact of Goku trying to see if there was any good within Cooler, only for Cooler to demonstrate the complete opposite instead, will only now go as far as to lead to a death battle involving the two similar to that of Frieza and Vegeta, so you do not want to miss out on everything that's about to take place as this story comes to a close before the beginning of a new story to come, so again, I do want to thank you all so much for being here, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all so much for your patience, in which as always, if you also just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love Dragon Ball and anime, then I do encourage for you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button, on top of making sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below, tune back in for more, and with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Eh, yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>